Hello everyone, it's Joe here and today is day one of our 100 days video content challenge. Basically, I'll be giving you valuable content for free for 100 days, okay? So if you think you have you, you, you picked something at the end of this video or have added any value to you, please just do one thing for me, hit the subscribe button so you can encourage, encourage us to keep doing more. So I'll be talking uh, about assessing today, okay? So it's basically... Uh, you know what you need to do to get more hands to help you in your business it's possible you've gotten to that stage where you you you're now getting so tired of doing all the work yourself i need someone else to help out so i'll be i'll be distinguishing or explaining uh, independent contractors and employees for you so you choose which of them is best for you at the stage you are in your business right now okay now let's get started so independent contractors are independent from you and your control over the workload that they do. Just fill in your parameters and expect them to fill, to fill it up, okay, to do the work uh, you want them to do. Example, web designers. Just tell them how you want this website to be, like it's exactly what you want to see. And then they, they, they go to work and with all they have, okay, to get you that result. But how they do that is none of your business what you're concerned about is the result but for employees they are different they work under your management in your own time frame and within your parameters okay so basically they come into your office and you, and you have control over what they do the basic difference is on the how on on the how you give an employee work you tell him or her how to do that work you give an independent contractor work you don't tell him or her how to do that work because it's expected that he or she is a professional so professionally you should handle that to get you the result you want okay so independent contractors do what they need to do to get the work done your employees do what you ask them to do to get the work done okay so basically your way and under your supervision for employees so the big question is do you need an independent contractor or an employee for the work you want to be done so the answer is yes and no you you might need an independent contractor you might need an employee it all depends on what exactly you want to be done okay so employees for employees there are a lot of things you need to know about them okay around the world that there, there are requirements before you go out there and say you want to start employing people okay but well, i'm in nigeria and i know that a lot of people don't take these things serious but that's not how it's supposed to be and i'm teaching you so you'll be able to do the right thing okay so you should first of all know the position you're hiring someone for okay are you hiring someone to help you to be in front of your client or someone who will handle the background jobs to give you more time to be in front of your client clients for me i like to hire the background guys so i have more time to be in front of my clients okay i don't know for you so you have to choose that decide that for yourself but there are basically important positions that are needed in every um establishment in every company okay things like uh, accounting and legos i'm a lawyer i take care of my legos but accounts i don't take care of that i, I outsource to a third party okay not on employment basis but on an independent contract con, con, contract basis okay so it all depends on you i trust my tax people so i i'm sure they, they i'm sure of what they do and i supervise to also make sure I, I get exactly what i want them to do for me okay now the reason why you have to take care of those two uh, aspects is because of tax purposes and contracts if you do your tax yourself your tax uh, things yourself you might make mistake and you pay more tax okay and if you handle your contracts without involving the, your, the lawyers and the legals it's possible you make mistakes that will cost you more tomorrow okay so there are a lot of requirements for hiring someone as an employee but those things are not uh, really respected in most countries in africa in the western world you don't joke with employment okay so you need to have a worker compensation workers compensation policy you need to have uh, many uh, you know talk about the issue of minimum wage and pension and then tax uh, you know and all the paperwork and in that paperwork the, the offer letter will have to contain their job title job description the salary 
And so the best thing is just for you to outsource this thing. Or you have an in-house accountant who can take care of this for you. For me, I outsource it. I outsource it. I use third parties in most of my, my stuff. And in the Lagos, I take care of all the drafts because I know the weddings, you know, and know the things that will put me into trouble and the things that wouldn't put me into trouble in terms of Lagos. Okay? And I also remember that there are employer and employee tax. That's why you need a, a tax consultant who would be able to draft these things well, handle your payrolls, to be able to uh, do the deductibles for both your company and your employees and remit them to the government. So you won't have issue of tax. Okay? So that is it basically. So, so these two terms, like I said before, it all depends on on the how you don't tell an uh, independent contractor how he or she should do his or her business but you tell the your employee how you supervise the person who comes to your workplace and you tell him or her how you want him to do that work but the independent contractor is a professional so basically you just give him what you want and he or she will use whatever uh, parameter whatever thing that is that will help him or her to achieve that for you okay if the person wants he can be taking alcohol and be doing your job if he feels he gets you know to that is optimum point of of being creative when he's taking alcohol that is business it doesn't concern you but for your employee you can come to your workplace and be taking alcohol or smoking and be doing his or her work okay because you control his or her timing and how he or she does that work so the best place to outsource for independent contractors we have upwork so you check upworks.com and then we have freelancers.com and i think fiverr fiverr.com okay so you check these three marketplaces uh, whatever you need to be done just describe it and you will see people who have that qualification and you can hire them we get talking push them to skype and after discussing with them on skype you push them back to upwork so you can set up the work there the reason why you have to go back to upwork freelance fiverr is so you can track this person okay so you wouldn't uh, do shady jobs for you and expect you to pay, no. So and that's another difference between employee and empl and uh, independent contract. An independent contractor, you don't really have the details of this person, like the full details. But before someone becomes your employee, remember the person will do the paperwork, submit both um, the what is it called shorties or guarantors. People will guarantee. Okay, in case of any uh, misbehavior, you can hold those people responsible for independent contractors basically uh, you can't really get all the details about them they can even give you a fake thing and you know we see a lot of those cases in court so that is it for now i wouldn't want this to be a long video so i'd like to hear your comments in your business right now do you need an independent contractor or you want to go all in and hire someone and which one do you think is best okay for people around the world right now let's have it as your comment under this video under this video and please if you've picked one or two from this video please just do one thing click the subscribe button encourage us see you in the next video mr joe peace